we will show that the principal argument function, argz with a capital A, is not continuous on the negative real axis. So we will consider a negative real number. We'll call it x0. So x0 is a real number, and x0 is less than 0. And we would like to show that um, the limit as xy approaches the point x0, which is x0, comma 0 of argz does not equal the arg of x0. In fact, we will show that this limit uh, does not exist, and that's why it will not equal arg of x0. The arg of x0 is pi, because recall the principal argument of a complex number is defined as being one of the infinitely many arguments of the number that is between negative pi and, so strictly greater than negative pi and less than or equal to positive pi. So a number on the negative x-axis has an argument of positive pi, a principal argument of positive pi. Uh, negative pi is also an argument that could be used, but the principal argument is defined in this way. Okay, so to show that the function is not continuous, we will consider um, two different paths. So let's consider a circle centered at the origin of radius absolute value of x0 so that the circle goes through x0. And let's consider a point xy headed towards our point x0, comma 0 along the upper half of the circle and then another path along the lower half. So in the first case, the limit as xy goes to our number x0, which is x0, comma 0, where um, in this case we're taking x squared plus y squared is equal to um, our radius is x0, negative x0, x0 squared. That's our circle, and we want y to be positive. So that describes our path. Path one, we're on a circle centered at the origin with radius absolute value of x0, and we want the point xy to have a positive y coordinate, and we want to look at the arg of the z, which is x plus iy. So the argument associated with the point x, y. And that limit, as this, the argument of such a point here is going to be very close to pi. And then as the point moves closer and closer to the negative real axis, we are going to get pi for our limit. Now path two is going to give us a different answer. So we're going to still take our point on the circle, but now we're going to take the y coordinate to be negative, so we're in the lower half plane. And for such a point, the argument is negative. This, this argument is uh, something like negative you know, uh, 3 pi over 4 or something like that. We have a negative argument. And as this red point moves along the circle, as it gets very close, as it gets very close to x0, the argument will be close to negative pi. Because in the lower half plane, we're going to have negative arguments. So this limit is going to be negative pi, certainly not equal to pi. So our choice of the path determines the limit. And so the limit as xy goes to x0, y0, a negative real number of argz 
is not equal to the arg of x0, which is pi. In, in one direction it is, but in the other direction it was not. And so the limit does not exist since it is dependent on the path that is taken to get to the destination. So therefore our function is not continuous. We have a jump discontinuity on the negative axis. Arguments of points here are near pi and arguments of points here are near negative pi. So we're going to have a jump discontinuity in the arg function as we cross the negative real axis.